Okay. Um, so for this, the exercise that I found the most beneficial was, uh, there's two of them, ratio breathing and focus and concentration. The square breathing type of deal I've done before for presentations I'm nervous for, and it's physiologically just really helpful. It's just because when you feel like you're out of control, that heart rate increasing, it just kind of helps. And then focus and concentration just to like set a certain tone and get myself into a certain mood for focusing. That helps. Uh, and these target the physical component. Exercise I found the least beneficial in why. Uh, visualization probably. I've used visualization in sports performance and sports anxiety related stuff in gymnastics before and it helped a lot. But in this situation I just don't think it helps. Like the general environment of taking a test doesn't necessarily make me anxious. It's more... Um, like afterwards what happens or like not just sitting there isn't what necessarily makes me scared um and if I have words of affirmation and things like that that work better just better than um visualization for this just because it's not really a physically difficult task I don't really know if that helps me in this case and then also in terms of like muscle re the muscle relaxation I just feel like that almost makes me more stressed because it's taking up my time and it's really hard for me to get into that state of like uh, actually not thinking about anything else. And that com uh, the visualization though is the emotional component. Strategies that I use to reduce stress and anxiety overall, working out, speaking with others uh, that brought stuff sometimes, telling myself I'm okay. Um, I have made to get over fear of needles have made a video of myself after getting a shot telling my future self that like you can do it and these are the things that you need to tell yourself and it's never that bad and um sure enough i'm over my fear of needles now so uh all of the components are addressed in that i think behavioral is like working out speaking with others would be kind of emotional i'd say um Breathing is the physical, and then telling myself I'm okay is the cognitive. So, a new strategy I'd be willing to try to reduce stress and anxiety. Just, I think, um, the thought control one, I do, kind of, but it's really hard. I catastrophize a lot, and sometimes I'm just on a spiral in the wrong direction. It's really hard to bring myself back and, like, get those thoughts under control. So, um, it's something... That I'd be willing to be like more cognizant of um, because it usually turns out that whatever I'm catastrophizing is not the case and uh, I think all my classmates have seen that so um, that targets the cognitive portion